And uh, hello everyone, and welcome to um, another episode on uh, we will actually have to drum myself and uh, Russia. As you can see, I'm not dressed. Um, there is reasons for that, um, and this is the video I've been putting off for a few months now. So let's pretty much just start from the beginning, really. Um, so back in September. Um, right about the start of it, I had not a great time. Um, I just started really getting stuff back on track uh, mentally, um, and I relapsed in September. Uh, I went on a two and a half day bender, um, and I ended up in hospital. Um, and that was only a few days after I started drinking. Um, I then got re-rushed back in uh, to find out I have a heart condition. And that's been a struggle to deal with um, because it's not just one. Uh, I actually have three now. Um, and I also found out that Essentially, the medication I'm on is not working. So I'm going to be hitting stage two um, gastritis. Uh, so get a Barrett's esophagus, then stage three is cancer. We knew it was coming, um, but that started in September, and I haven't been able to be right since. Uh, motivations are just down the drain. Um, but during that time of drinking, I took um, several overdoses um, to try and deal with things and everything like that. And I was in a dark place. I'm not going to say I'm not at the minute because I'm not fully out. Um, I do have a couple of friends that help him, but yeah, it, so September I was very unsafe, um, I took several overdoses on medication, whether it was my prescribed meds or whether it was I purchased it, um, and I really struggled just being about and there are people that know about this know how hard it's been for me parts in September but as a content creator you try and put on a brave face so people don't realize and unfortunately I couldn't couldn't do streams properly anymore I'm, I'm still struggling to this day doing them whether it's here on YouTube or on Twitch. And my motivation is still really, really down to do anything. I'm trying to hobby. I'm trying to do stuff. But I can't, if that makes sense. It's it's very difficult. So that September, I was overdosing a lot. I was drinking. Um, I was in hospital a lot. I think I spent like two weeks in the end in the hospital. And at the same time, I found out that I've got to be very careful with my liver and kidney um, because they can shut down They're very fast and very quickly. And yeah, that's, that's not great. One of the conditions with my heart has caused me to get slight, somewhat of a brain damage, essentially, we call it. That's basically what it is. And what it means is, for the past 12 years, when I've been collapsing and going unconscious, um, blood and oxygen has been cut off to my brain. And it's been damaging it. Slowly but surely, 
and we I now have answers and it's affecting the way I am whether it's personality and actions and stuff like that and unfortunately it's cost me a lot of friends and it's cost me quite a few recently at the time just recording and I've had so many people walk away from me at the minute that said they were friends and it turns out they're not and I'm still in that dark place and so September I haven't had a drink now since October but fingers got hard very hard um and I've ended up finding myself at night going to sit down by the waterfront for five six hours a night going for walks and just unsafe and this video is really hard to make um, I'm just feeling the pain part because I seem to be there for everyone and in my time away in September I done a stream and I was absolutely wasted I was drinking on on a live stream and I don't normally do that I said don't drink because I can't and it's surprising because I found out who people actually what people did care and I remember one person coming onto a stream going, oh, we missed you, we were worried. I'm like, no, you fucking weren't. You would have messaged otherwise and stuff like that. And I'm still in that bad place. I'm still having a really bad time. Like, this is something that I have to admit um, as well. Last month, I had an arm injury. I told people it was a door. I just caught my arm on the door and it was quite a large and quite a serious one. And it wasn't a door. It was me. Because I've been struggling and struggling. Day to day life, sleeping, everything. And that's why streams have been so erratic. Um, that's why content on here, on YouTube, has been so not really there. I have videos that need to get done. But I am, I am so drained. And this is hard to do this video because it is a mental health one. And I'm, in some sense, I may have... Like I've essentially the way I see it is I may have locked the devil out essentially we'll call it use this as a, a metaphor or whatever you want to call it but I still have those demons in me and this is going to sound really bad like I, I'm not eating properly anymore I'm, like appetite's nearly enough completely gone I'm drinking maybe less than 500 milliliters of like fluids a day now i'm barely eating and i'm i'm struggling to the point where it is extremely hard not to act on four patterns and i am at that point where I have a few good friends and a few people that are very close to me and they're helping the best they can to keep me going and I'm trying to keep going for them but I'm just in such a dark place that some days I don't want to wake up and I'm fed up for being in pain every day I'm fed up of everything and I'm struggling to even make content because I'm struggling a hobby because 
I just can't. I don't have the motivation anymore. Like, and I'm really struggling. I have lost count of how many times now I have taken an overdose. I have self-harmed. And I have had to sit there and go, yeah, I'm fine. I was coming out my shell more. I'm still trying to do that. And it's difficult. It is because the dysmorphia is with all the gender stuff is that's kicking my ass as well. So fucking much. To the point where I am basically purging my body. Like I'm I'm having my gastro attacks quite badly that is causing my hematosis or my internal bleeding. And then I'm doing it myself and I'm not eating and drinking so it's causing more pain and it's hard to get out of that place because as much as there are people there for me I still feel alone every day because I have had so many people say to me oh they are we're here for you we're there for you but I'm not I am struggling so much and then the fact that they're going to stop some of my treatment um, that the minute they all the specialists have completely stopped all treatment for me um, so there's no more treatment that can be done they're just stopping it they're not going to help me they're not going to follow up or anything and I'm left in the dark and one of the things that like so for the past since September beginners that don't things have been hard even this month they've been very difficult I've been trying to push through it and I'm I'm not going to say I've been being safe because there is no point and I'd be lying to you guys again. Like I've been trying to put the brave face on because I don't feel safe on a daily basis because I'm just so tired of fighting. I am mentally drained, emotionally drained, physically drained, like the whole lot. And this month I've wanted to get a few things done. So I have a, a couple more tattoos that sort of like express stuff. And one of them is every time I bleed, the demons slowly the demons slowly leave. And that's a reminder to myself, not for mental health as well, but also the physical stuff. So every time I have a bleed. But at the same time. It's one of those ones where that's something that I'm more worried about that I'll act out in a way where it's bad and I'll lose too much blood and that's it, game over. Or I'll collapse and game over and all that stuff. And I'm not worried about it and stuff like that, like... It's at the point where I just laugh about it now. And I'm just like, I am not even terrified. I'm not scared it's going to happen. And there are some days and some moments of days. And I, I want it to happen. That it's just to be a game over. And I am struggling because I feel that every time I try and get support from people. Apart from the few people that are, that are still here for me. Uh, that have been really trying and really helping. Um, I I feel there's nothing, and I have had I've had to be a beacon for for so many people that I can't. It's not just breaking me; it's destroying me from the inside, and I'm struggling. Because 
with mental health, as people might know, when you suffer inside, you're broken, all that sort of shenanigans, you find it very hard. Well, but not hard, very easy to put on a mask and everyone thinks you're fine, you're happy, dandy, daddy, 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 but inside you're not, you're broken. You're, you're destroyed, you're, you're crying inside, figuratively speaking. And I've been like that now since the start of September. I am really struggling to do stuff. It's a hobby to do everything. And I'm at that point where I'm just so tired. And I'm not sleeping properly. I'm not eating. So it's hard. Like at the time of this video, I've taken around about close to 20 overdoses uh, I've been I was drinking most of September um, on top of that self-harm um, I won't go into detail what I've been doing but I have self-harmed a few times I have even planned out stuff and everything ready to go and and it's not that I don't have the courage to do it because I know damn well I would but it's more the feeling of guilt because I, I'm i there for every single person I can be there for whether it's good or bad times I try and be there and the reason I'm making this video is one, give you guys a heads up of everything that's been going on with me recently um, and I didn't want to do it live because I didn't feel comfortable and because I just I honestly don't know why like I'm, ha I'm a beacon for so many people and I help people as much as I can and I'm just breaking inside, but then it's all well and good. Me telling people, well, yeah, don't drink, don't do this, don't OD, don't self-harm, don't plan stuff out. And I'm basically being a hypocrite because of it. And it, I'm doing everything I can to help everyone. And I am breaking inside so, so fucking much. And I am struggling on a daily basis. And I don't know what to do to get out of this rut. I've... I know people have busy lives and stuff like that. But there is a part of me that... I don't think people are going to be there. That people won't miss me. And... When you're in that situation, it's not a good thing. Let's be real, it's not. And as much as I know there are people that will, at the same time, I don't think there are people. And I'm struggling on a day-to-day -day basis. I try to put on this brave, brave face. I, I try and get out. And this week I haven't streamed. Because I just can't. I just broke and I I have lost the enthusiasm to stream, I've lost everything. I I try and force myself to stream. And I can't because I can't do it. I just It's hard. Because I want to stream, I enjoy the stream and I I love hanging out with the people and you guys. But it's been a tough, tough year or so, just over a year. It's been really tough with everything I've had go on. And I am at breaking point and it seems to be like, for me, obviously, this is an opinion. Apart from obviously people that I know that help me and I help them, it just seems like I put too much into helping others 
but they're never there when I need them. And people who go through stuff, tough times, will understand what I mean by that. I get people can't be there all the time. And I've been ignoring DMs and stuff because I just... I'm in such a bad place that I'm only talking to a select few. And I'm... I'm struggling. I've had breakdowns on stream now. I'm... I am trying to come back and things are just not going right for me mentally. And I don't know what to do. And as you can see, obviously I'm not dressed or anything because I started doing that and then I ended up ill, ended up in hospital with some uh, it was severe infections. I've got cracked ribs. Because of that, um, I was hospitalized for close to 24 hours nearly. And I'm struggling. I know there are people out there that would help me if I talked to them. But if people know about mental health or know people with mental health or you have it, you know it's not that easy. Just to say to someone, I'm struggling, I'm fucked, I'm crying inside, I'm breaking, I'm shattered. It's not easy. Hell, it's not easy making this video because I'm admitting to obviously destructive stuff and I've been trying to get help and I've been turned away at every single door. Every door I've tried to get through, I've been turned away. Like, the doctors aren't helping me anymore. They've stopped their stopping treatments. And I don't know what to do. I'm trying to do my best with everything and really just get there. And it's hard. It really is. Because. There are some mornings, obviously, I've said about this. I don't want to wake up. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to do anything. I'm spending all my time in bed at the minute. I'm not even sleeping, really. I'm sleeping maybe an hour a night if I'm lucky. And I'm struggling. And I cannot keep up putting a face on and going, Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, I'm fine. I'm a bit stressed, but yeah. And playing it off when it's actually something more serious. But yeah, I just wanted to do this video just to explain everything. Like why things have been over here on YouTube and on Twitch. Why things have been... Not, oh, Christ. Have not been great. Um, why things have been erratic and stuff like that. But obviously, to give you guys an explanation, and also so you can have a catch up for me, um, obviously this will go into the playlist, and now the only other thing I can really say is, like, if you're in a dark place, like, you're not alone, in some sense, there are others that know what you're going through, there are others that have been through what you're going through. And people can sympathise and go, yeah, we know what you're going through. Oh, yeah, we get it. And it's like, no, you don't. It's unless you've gone through the the emotions of you don't want to be here. Cool, I'm gonna swallow these pills. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that, and it will release things. You will never understand what someone really goes through. You can sympathise, but you won't understand. And I think that's what people forget, like. As much as being a content creator I like, and I love doing that, I love being able to do it and paint miniatures and do the commissions. It's it's not easy. I think that's a modern misconception that people think this sort of stuff is easy, and it is not. It is far from easy. There are some days where I don't even want to turn the camera on. And the past, since September, 
I've barely turned the camera on. Um, and obviously all this sort of stuff. Um, you can see I'm not dressed or anything properly. Because I have been struggling with that a lot. And I think that's in a nutshell. Like This video is just as a catch up. Um, but also to let people know that how bad things are getting with my, my, myself because I haven't been stable for a while and we haven't uploaded a thing to get to know Mango and this was about time I done something like this I've been putting this video off for a few weeks now and I'm at the point where yeah I've gone to attempt I've Got an injury on my arm that's quite bad. It's almost healed now, but it's taken over a month to heal because how bad I've done it. The amount of pills I've taken, and it's. Yeah, it's. No, I'm not going to say it's not because I don't want to be here, because some part of me is like, yeah, I don't want to be. But other part of me is just to, just to shut everything up and just sleep. And it doesn't work. And if people know what that feels like you know that it is a really hard thing to get out this is um just in general and mental health is a bitch but it is what it is i'm gonna try and i'm obviously taking uh, the time video i would have taken off the three days that i'm on a tuesday and today's wednesday i am more than likely going to be taken off tomorrow possibly friday But I see how this video goes. I see what happens because I struggle day to day hold it together. And that's something I don't want to be doing. I want to be able to enjoy things and I'm doing my best to try my best to enjoy things, but it doesn't always work. So, yeah. So, we'll see. I will see you on the next one. There are some other videos we are going to get up, but this one needed to be done today, and it will be going up. At the time you're watching this is the time you're watching this is probably going to be anywhere from twenty to midnight uh, UK time. But yeah, so on that note, um, this was a very hard video to make. Um, yeah, and um, I'll see you one on the next one. We're going on a hobby workshop. Usual will be sorted, but yeah, this was a hard one to make because yeah, it, it, it's coming to terms and in some sense getting what I need to get out to you guys, but also if anyone else is out there that knows what I'm going through or going through what I'm going through, maybe it helps them speak up. Even after this video, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to talk about this again and yeah it's difficult and it's something that i struggle with and with everything i've been doing with the od and the self-harming and stuff like that and just being absolutely destructive it's it's not good and i'm struggling and i really don't know what to do i'm in such a hole that i can't get out of anymore and I try and put on the act of, yeah, no, I'm fine, but I'm not. I'm. There's demons I'm fighting that very, like, people would have thought probably similar. But then there's people that might not have fought these demons. This type of demon and, and everything, but yeah. Obviously, this was a hard video to make, and it's probably going to be hard for people to watch. Um, but obviously all links down in the description will be there again and yeah I'll see you guys in another episode of Ohana Hobby Workshop and yeah let's yeah but yeah have a good night evening or morning wherever you are